All right, and we're uh, uh, Comp 1011, Advanced Object-Oriented Programming, or previously called Advanced Java. And this is uh, Week 3, Lesson 3, Part 1. Um, and we're going to talk about your first assignment, Assignment 1. And guess what? This looks familiar. We were talking about the Hero class last week, and now you're going to have to do it on your own. So parts of it are going to be the same. Parts of it are going to be different. I want you to see if you can put things together on your own. Right? This is an individual assignment. It's worth 5% of your mark, almost like the little lab we did last week. Right? And I'll actually, if you notice, a lot of the labs will be just like this. Right? Um, so here's an overview. Using, well, it says MS Visual Studio, but that's not true. It's actually build and implement, implement a hero class. And this is the wrong document. I don't know why I have this here. This is incorrect. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong course. Ah, here we go. It's because it's this one, this hero document that we're building. It's almost the same, but different. Slightly. That'd be okay. There we go. Build and implement the hero class. The hero class must include the following properties and methods. Strength, speed, and health, and name. You guys have done this before, haven't you? Right? Uh, the methods that are going to be a generate abilities, a fight method, a hit attempt, a hit damage, and a show method. All right? Here's some instructions. 25 marks for functionality, 6 marks for internal documentation. So I want you to internally document 4 marks for version control using GitHub. All right, how do we do this? Um, so again, the private properties are going to be strength, speed, and health. We kind of went over this last week a little bit. Your public properties are going to be name. And the constructor method should take one parameter, name, and pass it its value to the name property. It would also call the generated abilities method um, for two marks. So each of these things, if you notice, each line tells you, just like my other courses, uh, each line tells you where you get your, get your marks. So you should be able to mark yourself. This is like, honestly, half an hour. This is half an hour, an hour max. It's worth 5% of your mark, and you're done. Right? I'm not going to make you kill it. It's just I want to see how you code. I want to see your coding style. I want to see your commenting style. I want to get to know you as a, a Java coder. And remember, this is we're leading up to, we're building up to programming on Android, right? So uh, we're starting off slow, right? Nice and easy. Today we're going to cover polymorphism. We're going to go back. I want to look at inheritance again this week, uh, just because there's a couple things I want to talk about again. And then, uh, but more or less, the stuff we did last week, just in the entire lab pretty much was this, right? So if you did this last week, or if you missed last week, and if you look at the videos, it's almost exactly what I'm asking you to do here, right? Again, a public fight method that calls, this is a little different, hit attempt, right? If the hit attempt returns true, then it will call the hit damage method, and the damage will then be displayed in a message on the console, right? So um, a private hit attempt method, uh, this method, what it will do is it will randomly determine if the hero hits, and this should be 20% of the time. Otherwise, it will return false. How do you calculate 20% of the time to, to generate a hit? How would you think about doing that? You guys listening, or are you guys uh, zoning out somewhere? Come on. So I'm asking you guys to try to do this hit attempt, right? And the hit attempt is going to say, if um, the number, uh, you know, a number between one and let's say 100, if you want to say 20% chance, right? That means a number between 1 and 100, 1, 1 and 100, you're going to generate a random number. And if it's between 1 and 20, that's 20%, right? You could do smaller, you know, very easier. 1 and 20, right? A number between 1 and 20, just like the old D&D &D way, right? <laughs> and each pip on the, D on the die was worth 5%. So if it's 1, 2, 3, or 4, you hit. Or the other way, you could do the other way. 18, 19, or sorry, 17, 18, 19, 20. It hits, Right? Either way, it's 20% of the time you'll hit, the rest of the time you'll miss. If you hit, you'll return true. If, you're, if you miss, you'll return false. Okay? So this is a bit of some conditional statement to write. Um, you'll have to write a little bit of, um, uh, you know, understand how you return stuff uh, from a method, right? And again, this is a private method that's going to be working within the class. And then a private hit damage method that calculates the damage the hero causes to the target on a hit. Now, he doesn't really have a target. He's just going to hit like hit in space right now. So he's, it's going to call hit, and it's going to just say, okay, I did this much damage. But he's not hitting anything. 
right? He's practicing. He's, pra he's, he's, he's shadow boxing and he's causing damage to the shadows, right? Uh, a private hit damage method that calculates the damage the hero causes to the target on a hit. The damage will be calculated by multiplying the hero's strength property by a number between 1 and 6. So, in other words, you roll a d6, right? If it's a 1, then it's whatever the hero's strength is, that's how much damage you do, right? If it's a 2, it's double the hero's strength, right? It's a really good hit. It might be a 6, 6 times the hero's strength, right? Lots of damage. It'll be, and if the hero's strength is uh, 100, if he's a really strong hero, that means you can, go up to, you can do up to 600 damage. Now, it's a relative number. Who cares what that number is, right? But it should be something that's, that's based on the hero's strength. Okay, um, and that number will return its value. This, this, so the method will return this value, whatever the value is. Okay? A public show method that will display the hero's ability scores to the console. So if I show the ability scores, all the ability scores are going to show. Okay, in your main method for your code, right, your main, uh, you know, method for your program, right, as an example, you're going to implement the hero class by creating a new hero object, right, based on your new hero class, right, and have the hero call the show method to display his abilities. So how do I do that? How do I, I'm just going to call the show method, hero.show, right, and uh, then you're going to have the hero call the fight method, and I said, please ensure to test your output thoroughly, because sometimes you think you know what you're doing, and then when you test it, it doesn't adhere to what I'm asking. Read each line very carefully, because I'm asking you to do certain things. Um, OK, here's some stuff. Uh, three, include internal documentation for your program worth six marks. Um, so ensure you're, you include a program header and so on, uh, and some contextual variable names, and some, of course, some uh, some documentation, some comments, inline comments that make sense. Um, four, share your files on GitHub. Again, the same kind of idea as before. Four marks for full control. That means you use your GitHub as a development tool, not a, just as a storage unit where you dump stuff. It's not a dumping ground, GitHub. It's a place where you do version control, right? If you use it as dumping ground, though, you get two marks. <laughs> if you use it as full version control, it's four marks. And again, submitting your work. Uh, there's no external document for this one, even though it says there is. But if there was, uh, it would be a Word or PDF. So in this case, there's no external document. Uh, a link to your project files in GitHub is required, right? So if you're working locally, and let's say somehow you didn't get your 1% last week because you didn't create your uh, GitHub account. <laughs> I don't know why, right? And you're going to get it. I haven't marked it all. Um, a link to your project files on GitHub would be like, something you've already, you already have, right? So that's all I need. I need that particular project, whatever it's going to be called, assignment one for comp 1011, that's what I want, right? If worst case scenario, if you're unable to do such a thing for some reason, like let's say you don't care about your four marks you're going to get from, uh, from doing things on GitHub, <laughs> or you're not sure um, because you somehow it didn't work or something happened, you can still zip everything up and send it up on, on uh, Blackboard. But I do want, it's required for you to give me your, your stuff on GitHub. That's what I really want. Okay. It's worth 5% uh, of your mark. However, 10% is deducted for each additional day, just like normal, of your total. So if, I, if it's out of 5, it's going to quickly go down to 0. <laughs> right? It won't take long. Right, a couple days, and it's not going to be worth handing in anymore. Right? So please get it done early. This is something that, again, you could probably knock off, if you think about it, in about an hour, half an hour to an hour if you really work hard, right? It's not like the other one that I gave you earlier today uh, on the other course, right? That one's going to take a little bit more time because you get to write your story, you get to do all kinds of other extraneous things. This one, it's straightforward. It's really, I want to get to know, do you understand object-oriented programming? Cheating is an issue. I'm just going to put it out there for people that we all like to work together and look at each other's work. And because it's on GitHub, you might say, well, he looked at my GitHub, right? I want yours to be unique. Right? Even though I've told you, um, you know, what I want your class to look like, it doesn't have to be identical to the other person's class. Right? Um, your comment style should be your own. I mean, you know, you really, this is your opportunity to, uh, um, to put together a little class, and we're going to build on this stuff. Right? So this is the first one, and then the next one's going to build. And if you don't know how to do this, and you cheat, and by the way, it's not impossible. Right? Although, I've caught many people. Right? If you do cheat, zero. Right? 
but um, it's just you're just going to cheat yourself because when it comes to doing your tests, which we're probably going to have in a week or so, right, to test you on inheritance and, and uh, object-oriented programming, polymorphism, that kind of stuff we're going to test, right? Some of the questions that I already asked you about uh, object-oriented programming and all that stuff from last week, I'm going to put up a few more, uh, another poll today with a few more questions to help you out, right, to get better on your, on your test. The test is probably going to be worth 10%, just letting you know. Again, next week or the week after, you're going to have a little test. I'll let you know, right? And then, um, uh, you know, it, it's going to be testing this stuff here, this stuff we're talking about here. So, and part of it is going to be multiple choice and stuff like that. And there's going to be part of it that's going to be um, practical, where you build something. So there'll be two parts to the exam, right? The multiple choice part, right, will be worth probably 5%. And then there's going to be something like this where you build something on the fly. I tell you what to do, and then you put together something like the, for the test that's like a class or something else. And if you're not comfortable doing it within you know, the time frame you have, which is going to be about an hour, right, you're going to be in trouble. And the, I mean, I can give you a mu as much open book as you want. Once I hit the time limit with you guys, there's nothing you can do. If you, either you know it or you don't. So really, please, this is an opportunity. This hero class is an opportunity for you to practice using Eclipse pulling things together, practicing how to get this done. I'm going to give you a little bit of time today to start working on it, just because that's the kind of guy that I am. I don't want you to uh, do it alone. This way you can ask me questions. It's due next week. You'll have more opportunities to ask me more questions next week. But today I see, I'll see how fast we go. If we can cover most of the stuff for uh, polymorphism, then um, uh, we'll have time to do a bit of a lab uh, during the end. Any questions? Yes. No external document. Sorry, shouldn't be there. No external document for this one. Okay, so again, think about this. You're making a, a class, and all we're doing to implement it is call a couple of its methods. It's very simple, like stupidly simple, right? I'm not linking it to other classes. I'm not tying it together. We will. As we go on, we'll, we'll start using multiple classes and all that kind of stuff. But first, I want you to get over this one. Let's just do this first assignment worth 5%. And then just think about this. Every week or every other week, I'm going to give you another assignment starting today. Right? So you're going to have assignment after assignment after assignment. They're going to be this, this small, probably. Not too big. Why? So that way you get used to doing small little projects, small little code, a uh, little bit of code, right? And then in the second half of this uh, course, we're going to hit the big lot, big stuff, right? The big time. We're going to start working with Android, right? And then the assignments will be bigger. And also more challenging because we're going to learn the Android interface a little bit. Okay, so a lot of the stuff we're doing here, this basic class, classes and object stuff with Eclipse, is going to be the stuff that we're going to be using with Android, right? Um, so if you don't know, understand this stuff now, you're going to get really bogged up and messed up on the second half of this course after the break. All right, so please don't let that happen to yourself. Okay, any questions before I shut this one down?